Hi, my name is Emma Roos and I'm an occupational therapist. Today we're going to be seeing Janet. She's a 63 year old female who sustained a seizure and was brought to the emergency department at Yale New Haven. She had a CAT scan and an MRI to confirm a grade 2 glioma to the left frontal parietal region of her brain. She underwent a craniotomy with tumor resection and was transferred to Gaylord Rehab for 12 days of admission. Prior to hospitalization, Janet was living at home with her daughter and her grandchildren. She has two grandchildren. She lives in a split level home with four steps to enter and worked as a part-time real estate agent. Her goal is to return home and be as independent as possible with her family. Now that you know some background information about Janet, let's go meet her. Hi, how are you? My name is Emma. Hi. I'm going to be your occupational therapist today. Is it okay if I call you Janet? Yep. That's great. Uh, Janet, do you know what occupational therapy is? No, I don't think I've ever been to one. Occupational therapists help you get back to doing the things that you were previously doing in your life and just functional activities that you would do throughout your daily life, like brushing your teeth or cooking dinner, um, just walking around your house, just functional activities like that. Oh, okay. So before we start, I'm just going to fix your posture. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to get you to the sideline position and then from there we're going to work on going onto your stomach to do some activities that will help with your trunk and just keeping that upright posture. Okay. So now you're going to go to the sideline position and what you're going to do is slowly go down onto your forearm, um, putting your body weight onto your forearm and then slowly lower your head towards the pillow. And then after your head is on the pillow, I want you to take your stronger leg and hook it underneath your weaker leg and prop it up onto the mat. And I'll assist you. Now you're going to take your stronger knee and lift it up so that you're fully on the mat. Great. And I'm just going to straighten out your leg. Okay, you're gonna reach with your stronger arm across your body and grab your arm and cross it over your chest. And you wanna kind of cradle your arm like a baby and then bend your left knee. And what we're gonna do is on the count of three, you're gonna rock and build momentum to bring your body to lying on your side. Okay. So ready? One, two, three. Good. I want you to straighten out your arm, and I'll help you with this arm, and then straighten your leg or your um, left leg. Good. Perfect. And I'm going to help prop you up onto your forearms. Good. Okay. I'm just going to apply some pressure to your shoulder to activate the muscles, really get them engaged in this position and working on your trunk extension and your neck extension. So really try and think about putting weight onto your right side. And try and keep your head up as best you can. Make sure you're breathing. I'm going to apply ice for three seconds on your lower back. Um, and this is going to help with just getting your trunk and your back extended because we don't want that forward posture. Okay. So one, two, three. And I'm going to apply it to your neck also for three seconds. One, two, three. And when I apply the ice, really think about getting your head up nice and straight and I want you to look forward the best you can. Good job. And we'll apply ice again in 30 seconds. Okay. If you need a break, you can come down to your left side and we'll just put the pillow and you can rest your head. Okay. How are you doing? Good, I think. Do you have any pain? No, no pain. The ice is a little cold, but 
Okay, just let me know if you have any pain. Okay. All right, I'm gonna apply the ice again. One, two, three. And as I apply the ice, I want you to lift your head up. And can you look to the right and tell me three things that you see? Chairs, a table, and windows. Good. And can you look to the left and tell me three things that you see? Wall, a wooden thing, and a chalkboard. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna apply the ice one more time. And when I apply it, really work on getting your back nice and extended, like you're trying to straighten out your body and also with your neck. One, two, three. Look up, 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 good. So for our therapy session today, we're gonna to focus on your goal of returning home and to be as independent as possible in your home. And a way that we will achieve this is um, working on bathroom safety and hygiene. So the activity we're going to do today is going to mimic some um, toilet hygiene. So what I'm gonna do is apply downward pressure to your scapula and shoulder and hip to work on weight bearing on your weaker side. And as I do this, I want you to reach for a red cup, bring it around your body to your stronger side and place it on the blue mat. Okay. So reach, really work on focusing on weight bearing onto this side to help you with your balance. Good job. And pull your trunk back nice and straight. Good posture. Turn. And last one. I feel like that's so far. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. It's okay, I have you, but make sure you're also putting weight onto your weaker side. Good job. Great. How did that feel? Good. So now what I want you to do when you're ready is to get one cup at a time and bring it back and put it on the stool. Okay. Reach forward, reach, good. And use your back muscles to pull yourself back nice and straight. And one more. Great job. So what I'm gonna have you do, and I'm gonna demonstrate for you, so just make sure that you feel secure if I let go of you right now. Okay, so I'm gonna have you stand, and when you're standing, I want you to weight bear on your weaker side, and your stronger side is gonna reach for a cup, putting weight onto your weaker side, pick up the cup, and I want you to rotate your trunk okay. and place the cup on the box. Okay. And then rotate back and reach for another cup. And if you need a break in between, you can rest and have both your hands on the table, but just make sure you're putting weight onto this side and really rotating your trunk to turn, grab the cup and put it down. Okay. So when you're ready, I want you to stand up and Wait at the table. Good, okay, so can you put your arm on the table also? Good, I'm gonna lock your knee with my knees and try and stand up nice and tall, straight, good. And when you feel ready, I want you to reach for the first cup. Good, and then turn and rotate your trunk, go down and come back. How was that? Good. Turn. Really work on and focus on 
turning like you're reaching behind you. Good job, Janet. Thanks. And then we can take a rest. Okay. Do you feel like you need to sit at all or are you okay standing? Um, I think I'm okay for now. Okay, so we're gonna do it again, but I want you to grab the cups and bring them back this time. Okay. So when you're ready. And reach forward, extending, good. Keeping a nice straight posture. Good job. All right, we're gonna sit back down and I want you to reach back, bring that. Hi Janet, I'm Taylor. I'm going to be your occupational therapist today. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. All right, so before we get, begin everything, I'm just going to check to make sure your wheelchair is locked for safety purposes. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Perfect. Okay, so have you ever been to an occupational therapist before? Yeah. Um, are you like a physical therapist? Um, we have similar practices that we do but for, as OTs we work on helping you remain independent or getting back to being as independent as you were prior to your injury so um, we help you get back to doing activities such as brushing your teeth eating getting dressed bathing all that stuff oh I'd like to get back to that very yeah. much yeah we're gonna help you so what we're going to do today is we're going to work on improving the range of motion in your upper extremity and your arm um, using, first of all, for a proper activity, we're going to use this skateboard piece of equipment. And what it does is it helps to facilitate the movement of, your, of bending your arm, which you need to, in order to brush your teeth, in order to feed yourself, wash your face. So what this does is it makes it easier because instead of going against gravity and, lift, and lifting your arm up, it gets rid of that and it has no resistance. So it has the wheels, it makes it a lot easier. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in front of you. I'm gonna have you with your arm in it. Help you. Yeah, okay. All right, so you're just gonna put your fingers on this and your thumb okay. up. Perfect. Trap your arm in. And so what you're going to do is you're going to practice that movement. While you're doing it, I'm going to use the vibrator on your, on your muscles, on your biceps. Um, what this does is it helps uh, wake up the muscle, helps facilitate the, the motion of doing it. It'll help you. I'll show you on your other arm first if you want, just to see what it feels like. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay? It doesn't hurt or anything. Yeah, good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is once you start, I'm gonna put this on your arm while you're going forward. And then while you're going back and extending your arm straight, I'm gonna put it on your fly, on your triceps. So what I want you to do is just practice first, moving it, see how if you can. Okay. It's right, really so, hard. Yeah, so now I'm going to apply this on your biceps. And as I'm applying it, I want you to think about really using those muscles, okay, to pull in. So really think about pulling your muscle in, using your bicep. Good. Good, awesome. Good. I think that's as far as I can go. Now what I want you to do is go back out. Really think about pushing out using your tricep. Oh, this is a little bit easier. Okay, good. Okay, so I want you to do this three more times. Good. Again, pulling in. Good. Okay, 
and go back out. Alright, keep pushing away. Bending your elbows straight. Keep your elbows straight. Good. Alright, let's bring it back in. Really thinking about bending your arm. Pretend you want to bring that food to your mouth. Mm. And you have a nice donut or piece of chocolate in your hand. That'll motivate me. Good. Alright, and then we're going to go back out again. Good. Bend. Keep, send your elbow up straight. Good. Okay, now we're going to one more time in. Really think about bending it. Try using those muscles. Good. Good. Can go out one last time. Extend. Perfect. How does that feel? Good. Good. All right, so I'm just gonna begin by making sure your wheelchair is locked for safety purposes. Thank you. Yep. Okay. So today we're gonna work on helping you be independent so you can go back home. Great. Good. All right, so we're gonna help you with independence and different grooming self-care tasks. Today we're specifically gonna work on washing your face, but this can also be used with brushing your teeth and feeding yourself because it's the same motion of bending your arm. So I'm gonna help by first having you sit up straight. I'm gonna fix your posture, just like we practiced earlier. Nice and straight, good. All right, we're starting with the um, armrest off the wheelchair to give you more room to move your arm. All right, so I'm gonna do quick stretches. One, two, three, to facilitate the movement and the motion we want. One, two, three. All right, you can keep it, rest your elbow here on the table. One, two, three. All right, now I want you to really reach forward, straighten out your arm, elbow, grab the um, handle, and I want you to try to turn the faucet on. But I really, instead of pulling your back or the shoulder, I really want you to try to activate these muscles and bend your elbow like we were practicing before. Really try bending. Good. All right, so we're going to practice first without the washcloth. So I want you to do is I want you to put your hand under the sink in the water. Good. All right, so keep your elbow rested here. I'm going to tap your tendons, and I want you to really try to bring your hand up to your face. Let me know if you can when you can't go any further if you need any help. It's as far as I can go. Okay, so I'm going to help assist you. I'm going to help do that. Good. How'd that feel? Good. Good. All right, so we're going to go back down. I'm going to tap on your triceps to activate those muscles. Good. So we're going to practice now, except with a washcloth this time. Put this in your hand. What I want you to do, grasp that, and then I want you to bring your hand under the sink with the washcloth. Good. All right, I want you to do the same thing. Keep your elbow rested here. I'm going to tap your tendons, and I want you to pull up. Bring your hands as far as you can up to your face. Really try to bend. That's as far as I can go. Okay. So we're going to push. Good. Good. Bring your arm back down. So this time we're going to do the same thing, we're just going to make it a little more difficult. So while you're reaching forward, I'm going to have you try really hard to not rest your arm on the table, not rest your elbow. So again, nice posture, sitting upright, perfect. Okay, we're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, and then you have to really bend forward this time. I really want you to try to keep that arm up. Good. 
I'm going to pull. Good. Just put the washcloth in your hand. I want you to wet it. Good. And this time I'm going to have you sit back in the chair. Have your lower hand down here. And I'm going to have you to try to bring it up starting from the bottom. Okay. Okay. So same thing again. I'm going to tap your tendon. And I want you to try to as hard as you can. Really concentrate on bending that elbow and bringing your hand up to your face. Going. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna lower it back down. Good. Okay, so now we're just gonna go over to end our session a few last things that you can use and carry over at home to continue the therapy that we worked on today in your home setting. Okay. And these are just some home exercises that are really easy to do. They won't take a lot of time and they'll really help work on your posture as well as your arm function. So I have a sheet here that you can take home and it has pictures and explanations, but I just wanna go through it with you and make sure you understand everything on the sheet. So the first one that we're gonna work on is starting with your hands in your lap. I want you to take your stronger side hand and interlace the fingers of your weaker side and kind of make like um, prayer hands or like a fist. Great. So you're going to bring it straight up as high as you can go, making sure to keep your shoulder in close because you don't want to um, have any subluxation, which is the actual arm joint popping out of the socket and nice controlled move it movements and then bring it back down and when you're doing this although your stronger side is assisting really focus on working your weaker side muscles so you'll do that five times going up nice and slow and controlled as high as you can go without any pain or discomfort and back down and that counts as one okay so the next one is bending your elbows towards your face and bringing it back down. So the same exact way, good. And really think about what we did today with the vibration and the tendon tapping where you are thinking about really working that bicep, bending that arm, and then when you push your hands away from your face, push and let your weaker side really work and let the tricep work on extending your arm, making a nice straight elbow. Okay. Good. The next one, I call it mixing the pot. So what you're gonna do is have your arms up with a little bit of a bend, and you're gonna go in a circle. All the way around, having your stronger side guide your weaker side, but really working on letting your arm do the motion and working that bicep and the tricep. And then after you do that for five times, I want you to switch. So it's working on two different types of range of motion, which we call internal and external rotation. And this will help you with um, bathing, washing your hair, cooking. I need that. Good. I think this will help. Okay, the next one is called rocking the baby. And what I want you to do is scooch up in your chair a little bit. Good. And you're gonna cradle your weaker arm, kind of like a small child. Um, so you're just gonna hold on to the elbow okay. and rest your forearm on your other forearm. What you're going to do is, just like rocking a baby, you're going to bring it up as far as your body will allow without any pain, and then pushing it back and bringing it back. How does that feel? Good. Do you have any pain? No, it just feels weird because I haven't done this motion in a while. Yeah, this will really help if you do this um, a couple times a day. On the sheet, I wrote 
to do it three times a day. Um, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes, but it'll really help just loosen your joints and really work on engaging these muscles and getting function back in them. Okay. Because okay. you're at risk for something that we call learn non-use, and that's when you neglect to use your weaker side because you're favoring the side that's more functional, you will just lose function in that arm. So these exercises mm -hmm. are a way that you can continue to activate these muscles. Yeah. And then the next one that we're gonna do is again, interlace your fingers, and you're gonna turn your palm up and over and back down. So you wanna keep your elbows tucked in. If it's too hard to keep them at your side, you can let it rest on your lap. And we're just trying to get your palms to turn over and under. Good job. And again, we'll do this for five times each. Okay. All right, the next one that we're gonna do is again, interlace your fingers. And I want you to take your stronger hand and guide your weaker hand to bend your wrist backwards and then bend it forward as much as you can. And again, bend it backwards and forward. And we're gonna do this for five times, just like the others. So when you're sitting throughout the day, just uh, something to keep, be aware of and it's a precaution because of the low tone in your right side is to just be careful of your arm hanging because this could cause subluxation which is the socket of the humerus, which is your arm bone, can pop out of the socket, and that would cause a lot further complications. So throughout the day, just make sure if your hand isn't in your lap, it's somewhere where it's being supported and your shoulder isn't just hanging on its side. Okay. And also, when you sleep, this is something to be careful of. Um, you don't wanna sleep on this side or in any positions that will twist it um, it'll help at night if you have like just a pillow propped under it and in between your side here mm -hmm. to decrease the likelihood of having a subluxation occur. Okay. Do you have any questions about that? Can I keep my arm like on a, on a back like this? Yeah, that's a really good position okay. for it um, if it feels comfortable. Just again, be careful. It doesn't slip over the edge and that it is supported. So now I'm just going to tell you a few things about your posture and I'm going to show you one exercise that you can do at home to work on your posture. So throughout the day, just make sure when you're sitting down that your feet are flat on the ground or resting on the footrest of your wheelchair. Your knees are bent at 90 degrees and your hips are also. Mm -hmm. So pretty much what that means is just make sure that your thigh is in line with your hip and knee. You don't want to be on an angle that would put your hip up too high in your knee, or you don't wanna be slouched down. A lot of times, um, because of the tone that you have, your foot, because you are weight bearing more on your stronger side, your weaker side's foot will kind of slip out, and this results in a slouched posture, which is really bad for your core and your back. You wanna make sure that you're really thinking about your posture throughout the day, um, sitting up nice and tall when you can. It, does become kind of habit to slouch, especially if you're sitting a lot of the day. Mm -hmm. But if you are sitting for most of the day, just make sure that you do some check-ins every couple hours of just sit, sitting yourself forward and working on maintaining that upright posture. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you an exercise that you can do at home on your kitchen table that will work on your trunk control and your posture and just making sure that your trunk and your abs are activated to okay. increase your upright posture. Okay. So I want you to just use like a random um, cloth or rag that you have in your house and you're gonna put your weaker hand down first mm -hmm. and your stronger hand is going to guide your hand forward. And as you do this, you're gonna lean in. And this is safe to do at home because your table will stop you from falling forward if it is too difficult and you can also use it to push yourself back up on, um, instead of just doing it with a ball or something where you have that risk of falling forward. Okay. So what you're gonna do is, again, just 
put your weaker hand down first, your stronger hand on top, sort of interlace the fingers, and then just push forward and lean with it. And then once you reach as far as you can go with your arms also straight, I want you to pull back and work on bringing back that trunk and your back so it's nice sitting up tall and then bring it forward again and pull back. And this is also great for working your arms, which is something mm -hmm. that we practiced today, just having your arm fully straight out in front of you and bending it back in. So the first time you do this, I want you to do it 10 times and really just focus on your core. And then I'm gonna have you do it again for another 10 times, working on both the core and your posture, as well as activating your arm muscles to extend and straighten and then bend and pull them towards you. Okay, so I'm gonna have you practice now and I really want you to work on lifting your arm yourself as much as you can and when it becomes too difficult, have your stronger arm guide your weaker arm, but still make sure you're engaging the muscles and activating them as you bring your arm up. And this will just be one more way to reinforce that muscle work of your right arm. Good job. Okay. So interlock and then I just push. Yep, right. you're gonna push forward and lean with your body forward as much as your body allows and then pull it back, working on straightening out your back and engaging your core. So then you go forward, so we push out, good job. Another really simple and almost silly exercise that you can do that will help align your spine is one that will bring your neck back. So you're gonna bring your ears so that they're in line with your shoulders. So you're almost giving yourself a double chin in a way. And then when you do this, you wanna tuck your chin a little bit and that will help bring your neck back mm -hmm. instead of that forward bend. Okay. And you can do that a couple times. Another one that we're gonna work on is really simple also. It's just working on having your shoulders back because once your shoulders are back and I apply just a little bit of pressure. Oh yeah, I can feel my back straighten. You can see it immediately too. So I know this might be difficult for you with your right side because of the low tone, but um, you can either have your left hand kind of guide your shoulder and push it back. Just be careful not to push too hard where it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and work on making that connection to really have your mind tell your muscles in your shoulder to work on bringing it back, almost like you want to bring your chest forward. Okay. And these are just little check-ins to do throughout the day to make sure that your posture is good and you're really mm -hmm. working on keeping these muscles active instead of slouching. Okay, well, if you don't have any questions for me, you did great today. You worked really hard on Thank working you. on your postural control, weight bearing onto your weaker side, and also the range of motion and strength of your weaker side. So here's your home exercise program with all the instructions about the exercises that we just practiced um, okay. with pictures and, like I said, the description. Okay. So Perfect. if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call the clinic. Okay. And we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you so much for You're your You're welcome. Home.